Today I'm going to talk about Teflon tape and pipe dope, also known as uh, sealant paste or sealant, uh, thread sealant, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's really a, this is really actually a very important video because the Teflon tape is everywhere. Ubiquitous is the word that they use. Uh, and lots of people think they know how to use Teflon tape, but actually they don't. <laughs> and I'm going to explain why in a second. Okay, you got your Teflon tape, you got your half inch, you got your three quarter inch, you got your one inch. Uh, primarily, the only reason you would use one over the other is the size of the pipe that, or the nipple, whatever the thread that you're trying to cover. 99% of the time you're going to use this if you're using like two inches smaller. As you get to the larger sizes, it just gets ridiculous trying to cover a four or six inch pipe with a half inch, so you use the larger sizes. Okay. Then you have pipe dope. Okay. We carry three different kinds of uh, pipe dope, uh, thread sealant, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why it's called pipe dope. Sorry. Uh, thread sealant. So you have the white. This is the IPS. This is the spheres blue, and then this is the weld on blue. Now, there are differences between these three, and depending on which one uh, you're going to use depends on your personal preference. Okay, this is your general purpose thread sealant. You'll find it everywhere. Uh, it works perfectly fine. However, I have found that these two work better. Now, I'm not trying to sell you it because this will work perfectly fine, but the Spears Blue and then the Weld On Blue, they do seem to work better. And now I'm going to explain the difference why and why you use pipe dope instead of tape. All right. Most of the time, you should be using thread sealant, pipe dope, on your threads, not Teflon tape, especially with PVC fitting, any plastic fitting. What happens is this. Most people think that the seal comes from the tape. That's not true. The seal comes from the threads engaging with the other threads. Back in the old days, when they, everything was either uh, brass, copper, or not brass, a uh, cast iron steel, you would thread the two pieces together, and the seal is actually made at the thread. And you would use your general purpose pipe dough. The reason you're doing this is because you're lubricating the thread. As metal, pushes against metal, it starts to gall. And what happens is when it galls, you get feedback uh, to your uh, tools of your hands as to how tight it is. As it's galling, it feels like it's going tight, but it's not. What you're feeling is a resistance of the metal shearing against each other. You use the pipe dope or thread sealant, it's a lubricant. And what happens is this provides you with a true feedback because now you don't have the galling. And as you're tightening the two pieces together, you're, you're getting the metal sliding against each other, not galling, and that's how you can tell when it's really tight. Now, plastic has the same problem, and actually, uh, it's actually worse, because what happens is when plastic goes against plastic, um, it's, it's a different kind of galling. The plastic tends to grab and then release, grab and then release, and what happens is when it releases, it tears the plastic. So, people started using Teflon tape, Teflon tape actually should only be used in one purpose or one situation, and that is very worn threads or threads that are not in perfect condition or threads that you've used many times. That's when you want to use Teflon tape. Most of the time you want to use pipe dope or thread sealant for the same exact reason because what happens is as you're threading the, uh, the plastic uh, male and female together, you need that lubrication so that the plastic does not try and grab to each other and then break. Uh, now, why do we have the three different kinds? Okay, Spears came out with this blue one, and I like it a lot. It, it's great. I mean, if you ever, if you just want to um, see what I'm telling you is true, take some plastic fittings and do your standard Teflon tape, and then take another one and do it with the blue, either one of these, and put them together, and you will see, feel the difference. Um, these, when you use Teflon tape, you're, you're threading in, you're threading in, and then you start to feel what I consider like a squishy feel. Uh, when you use the pipe dope, you don't feel that. You feel a very smooth, and it's a uniform tightness as you go down. Now, why do we sell the Weld On Blue as well? Okay, both of these work equally well, but there's a big difference between these two. This one actually, and I'm not saying anything negative about it because I use it all the time, but if you're sensitive to, to chemicals, you'll not want to use this one or this one. You'll want to use this one. If you look up the material data safety sheets on these, you find out that these have some pretty nasty uh, chemicals in them. Again, if you're outside and there's wind blowing, it's 
fine. It's not going to bother you at all. But if you go and you smell this, um, I don't want to do this on camera. <laughs> yeah, it, you, just smell it, and you'll you'll smell the chemicals in there. Okay. If you smell this one, there's nothing. There's absolutely no smell to this whatsoever. And I, like I said, if you look up what's actually in here, there's no hazardous material in it at all. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get these in the smaller sizes. I wish we could. You know, this is the only size we can get for the blue uh, weld on thread sealer. So I just wanted to make this video real quick. I'm going to do another video later on about um, uh, sealing um, threads and gluing, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. But I just wanted to show you the difference. The only time you should be using Teflon tape, folks, and we sell a lot of it, uh, but I'm just telling you, the time you're supposed to be using it is on worn threads when they're really messed up. Uh, that will fill in the gaps. But you'll actually have less leaks on new threads if you use one of the thread sealants. Okay? This has been Eric at FlexPVC.com. Thank you very much for watching.